Well, welcome back, people. So, this episode, I guess you can call it, we are going to be assembling the pistons onto the rods. So, I pretty much got everything cleaned, except for these are not clean. Um, so, what I'll be doing is, obviously, the bores are clean. I cleaned those. The cylinder bores. So, you just want to try to use a lint free rag if you can. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to set, when I do it, I'm going to set one and six because the, <clears throat> the crank is all the way down. At the bottom, it allows me to get the piston in there and get time to move it around. Because I'll obviously if you're if you're up at the top, you know if you're up here, your uh, rod barely is barely gonna get in there, and uh, and then you're gonna have some problems. You know you could scar this up, um, or you could you know mess up the uh, bearing, the rod bearing. So I'm just gonna this episode is just gonna assembling these the rods or the pistons to the rods I'm gonna do all that because they all have to be canted up basically um, so when you assemble them it's probably too too heavy for this table but anyway <laughs> so when you assemble them you want to assemble them up like this up like that and then uh, this be the front of the motor going going this way so with these up the motor is going to go that way or the front is that way so basically I'll be trying to assemble them like this with the uh, arrow or whatever it is on the piston itself showing the front which is right there so, and I have them all marked. So, one front, two front, three front, four front, five front, six front. So, just like so. So, I'm going to lube it up. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, let me just get in a uh, little position. So, I'll do one or two on video. And then, uh, after I do the one or two on the video, um, I'll just have them all assembled. Because I'm not going to sit here and let you guys be bored by doing that all day. So, hold on. Alright, here we go. So, I'm basically just taking some brake cleaner. Brake clean on a rag. And taking this rod cleaning. Where the wrist pin's going to go. And, uh... I don't need to worry about that right now. So I'm just going to set it here. Take the wrist pin. Do the same. Same rag. Clean it all up. Just make sure you don't get any stuff on there. No fingerprints. Or anything like that. Just like residue on there. I don't know what it is. But I just want it all off. Okay. So that's off. So I'm going to dump my C-clip. I already have one C-clip or one E-clip, whatever you want to call these. I already have one of the clips installed inside there. So I'm going to take this the front. Set it like that. Stay like that. Take some lube. Some lube tube. Put it on the fingers. And then I'm just gonna lube up this bearing. That's in here. 
loop up this whole surface if you have to. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, you don't have to be frugal with this lube. You can use as much as you want. So again, this is the front. This is up. Take this like this. Stay like that. Take some more lube. Just throw some on this thing. And just get this thing nice and lubied. And then some lube inside here because it doesn't matter oh, man. anyway I think I have a, a buyer for my truck my 2012 Ram so it'll probably be going to a, a very good owner here soon, hopefully, that'd be kind of cool. So, anyway, these are not these are not press fit. Uh, they're not supposed to be anyway. Um, what's why it's fighting me, but it's fighting me. So, okay. Go. Still have the front right here. Got this right here. Get that in there. Just like that. And grab your C clip. I always like my C clips to go down. Uh, some people like them this way, some people like them that way, this way. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I like to put my C-clips down. This way the the brunt of it's down, the pressure is pushing up. And realistically the pressure is pushing all the way around, but um, I just need a rag so I can grab some so I don't slip off these tools. So you just take these. It'd be hard to do this on the video. Almost impossible actually. Man. So I might have to be in the way. <laughs> so apologize up front. But it is what it is, are what it are. So, hands are slippery, everything's slippery. Which is why this lube is good because it's slippery. I'm going to have to step in. Okay, just like that, it's all in, and none of this matters for lube. I'm going to put lube in on this anyway, um, because when you assemble this, you got lube there, you got the lube there, or pointing the right way, so there's one. So 
that cylinder number one right there. Anyway, sorry for this video. It's kind of a dumb video. Lack of preparation, I guess you could say. So, I'm going to wipe my hands and uh, get ready to start cleaning the next one. So, like I said, I'm going to do one and six. So, this is six over there. So, and that's number one. Um, yeah, so, just going to clean everything up. Clean the inside of this bearing. Make sure it's free of everything. So, that's that. Wrist pin. Cleaning the wrist pin up. Making sure it's all good. And I'm using the same wrist pins with the same pistons. I don't know if it matters or not. So, the wrist pins, the pistons. Um, I'm using the same, like, I, like I'm saying, I'm using the same ones that came in the box. So, I'm not using, you know, this wrist pin with this wrist, with this piston. Um, just to the simple fact, in case they're matched up or something. Um, so, anyway, I don't know if that's any issues with that or not, but that's just what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm just doing this little e clip. Somebody's calling me. Oh, can't see who it is. Hang on. It locked on me. Using my belly. For this table. Oh man. And they're all crooked, man. What the heck coming here? Piece of my glove on it. Hurt when they spring you back and hit you. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to get it in there. Then I'm going to rotate it. Whew, pain in the butt. Anyway, got that one in. It's going to help me uh, make sure that it's all going in the right way. So I always do the opposite side of the front. So we have the front and I have the clip in there. So let's do the same thing. Put a little looby. Be generous. Um, A lot of lube on there. Remember to lube the inside where the piston is. Uh, if you guys watched, uh, whatever their names are, I can't remember their names. Power driven diesel. They thought they had a rod knock, ended up being a seized wrist pin. So definitely try using enough lube on this so that you don't have a wrist pin. They bought the truck like that so I'm assuming it came from the factory with that issue. Um, so again, I'm going to try to walk this thing in there. Okay, there we go. This one's here, this one's there. Peanut butter jelly. I just need to throw the clip in and uh, 
Then I'm going to take a break and see who's calling me. Maybe it's someone calling me. I use my belly again. Pliers. Anyway, so this one's installed. Just make sure the wrist pin's free inside there, and then that you can walk that, and just check front and make sure that it's sticking up. So, um, went almost everything. So I'm gonna call it done there for this video, guys. It's a long video. Too long actually so anyway uh, yeah so in the next video you'll see these will all be done and I'll start putting the pistons and rods inside of here so anyway thanks for watching guys thanks for sticking in make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't you can subscribe over here check out my boy one and Glenn over here watch my previous video here go down click the playlist of uh, Six seven Cummins build and uh, give me a like, bell notification. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.